I'm continuing on with my interview of Mirtas Oliveira, and the reason is that Mirtas has brought to my attention a very interesting connection uh, between the heart of Dr. Jung's primary oeuvre and the whole work of BTS, and that is fascinating. I thought this was a quite a profound insight that you had, and of course I'm still too new to this material to have found anything like this, and I'm not sure I would have found it even if I knew it very well. You have directly connected what we've been talking about to the very heart of Jungian psychology. And because of that, it appears to me that your assumption is right. And there's a very significant connection. And so I'm hopeful that we can find other linkages that whoever is doing this, I don't know whether it's the videographers or it's the boys themselves or it's the songwriters or the musicians, whoever it is, they are making an incredible story here. I'm sure that the BTS themselves are somewhat familiar with this, but I'm not sure if they know all of these connections. And so my objective here in, in this particular discussion is to only point out what you have pointed out to me, which I think is extremely powerful, and then give others the opportunity to look at it and look for other symbols in various BTS albums that might reflect back on Jung's work and hopefully other members of the BTS army who've been trying to work out these symbols over a long period of time might have a have an idea of what we're talking about and so Mirtis came to me with uh, two instances in which Dr. Young's Red Book may be referred to in earlier BTS albums, earlier than uh, Map of the Soul Persona. Mirtis was our Love Yourself, the two songs that we're looking at, the two videos, are Love Yourself and Epiphany. Uh, and what I first want to understand is what albums were these two two videos in? I mean, Love Yourself must be in the Love Yourself album, is that right? And, uh, the first one is uh, actually a short film, uh, Highlight Reel. Okay, it's Highlight Reel for Love Yourself, is that right? Yes. Okay. I have that link, and it's the Love Yourself album, right? Yes. Okay. So when you came to me this morning, you pointed out that in this highlight reel for the Love Yourself album, there were a number of references to the Red Book, and I think that that's very fascinating because a very key part of Dr. Young's work is in the Red Book. And so I want to share the st a still from that reel. This is the image, is that right? I mean, this is the first image where, yes. where there's a reference to the Red Book. And so we have a beautiful young woman and the anima is the perfect woman in a man's psyche. And so we see the man uh, kind of blurry he's sort of got a, he's sort of decapitated think of it <laughs> which is yeah. <laughs> he sees this beautiful woman and oh my god she's perfect she's an anima figure and throughout this video i noticed that it's showing different members of the bts team and different interactions with anima figures yeah. it's not the same woman in every case i don't think but it's different anima figures so here He's running into her at a railway crossing, 
and she's carrying a diary that is a red book, very similar in size to Dr. Jung's red book. So that's a visual reference to the red book. Yes. Uh, and, the, and that's the point you were making, right? Yes, correct. Okay. And so let's take that series then. That was the first one. And then there, here's sort of a, the next thing that happens in that video is he's looking at her, across at her, and he's totally stunned. It's like love at first sight. But obviously he's almost too young to be able to deal with a woman that's so perfect as that right i mean that that's what often happens this is why <laughs> older men are usually with younger women because at this age young men when they're faced with a mature woman of the same age don't know how to deal with them but anyway he's let's say hypnotized by her and that's the look he has on his face it's sort of love at first sight and correct me if i'm wrong this is what just what I'm thinking of this. So after the train goes by, we have this scene where this anima figure woman is coming across the railway track and she's actually dropping her red book. Obviously for purposes of this film, it was quite intentional, but that's what's happening. She's dropping the red book, which that amounts to an opportunity for the young man to interact with this young woman. Maybe in the 19th century or before, going way back, uh, a young woman would drop a, a handkerchief or something, and uh -huh. that would give the young man the opportunity to pick up the handkerchief and uh, interact with her. And so here she's dropping the red book uh, and it looks like it's unintentional but it's obviously quite intentional okay so then the next one the next one is this and in this picture they are emphasizing the red book by focusing on it focusing on the fact that a red book has been dropped on the ground and it's obviously a personal diary of some sort right? Yes. Okay. And so then the next scene, the next thing that they show in this video is he picks this red book up, but he completely blows his opportunity. Okay. He's, he's interested in her secret thoughts. And so he's reading her book, but he isn't trying to get it back to her. And I was waiting throughout this video, and maybe there's a different video, because as you said, this is a compilation of a number of videos, I think. Were, were there different videos for this album? Many? No, no. This is a short film. Okay, so it's a short film. Intentionally that... uh, put together like this. Okay, so this short film, now... It, for the purposes of this young man, I would think that he should be trying to get this diary back to her. I mean, it's it's fine for him to be interested in her secrets, <laughs> but, yes. uh, but then he should be trying to get it back to her because that's a way for him to interact to, with her. But I watched through the rest of the video and he never did. In the end, Jim uh, went to meet the girl to give back her diary. Oh, he does? In this video? Yes, in the oh. end. Oh, okay. I have to go back and look at it again. Go back. You, did, you, don't you remember what happened to her? No, I don't. She's hit by a car. Oh, that's right. She's hit by a car. Yes. And it, the moment, she... and the moment he was meeting her to give back her diary, uh, and he bought the the bouquet of Esmeralda, Esmeralda flower, right? Because he read on her di in her diary from her diary that it was the flower she liked. I see. So he 
that's what he did. Ooh. I think that in this story, in this story, Jean is a uh, young and a bit insecure man. Yes. And yeah. that's maybe that's why he didn't take the opportunity to talk to her at the moment she dropped her diary. Right. And and so she just so at the end she ends up getting killed. Is that the implication? Is it? Yes. So, and uh, he decided to study her through her diary. Yes. To feel uh, more secure to approach her. Uh huh. Probably. Yes. But when it finally happened, it didn't happen. <laughs> it didn't happen because it was a lost opportunity. And, yes. and so, again, m many of these are lost opportunities um, mm -hmm. in, in one way or another. I mean, in one, uh, one of the men is committing some crime and he's doing it with the young woman, and he ends up taking the taking the blame with the police and letting her off. But again, he's losing the young woman because of that, right? Yes. Is that, was that your interpretation of the scene where she's shoplifting or something? No, it's, this is another girl. Oh, there was another girl? No, no, no. <laughs> yes, this is a young girl. Okay. I'm not sure there was all seven young men. It, was, it seemed like it was about five of them had interaction. No, uh, do you, do you think all all of the BTS members were in this short film? Yes. Oh, you did. Okay. All right. So I'm still having trouble recognizing. The first time you watched it. The, yeah. The film. First time I've watched, and I'm still having trouble recognizing who is who. I mean, I can okay. recognize RM, and I think I can recognize Jimin, but this isn't Jimin, right? No, this is Jin. This is who? Jean. 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 J I N. All right. So this is Jean, and all right. So in this video, all seven of them have an interaction with a woman. They're all different in in various yes, ways. Yes. Only only Jimin and uh, J Hope, they interact with one woman. Okay. The same woman. So Jimin. And J Hope. Okay. So one woman. Okay. But the yes. others, it was it's a different woman. But the point of it is that all of them kind of miss the boat is is okay. what I gather. Or in most most of the cases, it doesn't work out for some reason. And one of the one of the lyrics at the end of the video seems to be about missing an opportunity or making a mistake. And, and so this is young men learning that, <laughs> oh, by the way, if you're interested in a young woman, you better act on that, right? Yes, I better do something. Yeah, better uh. do something be <laughs> because, uh, you know, they're going to, do something with you to get your attention. All right. So, so in any case, those those were the references. The main thing I wanted to talk about in this discussion, Mirtas, was the references to the Red Book. Okay. Okay. Because they seem very important to me, and so we won't get more into the into this at this point. Maybe we'll come back to it, uh, to this reel later on and have another discussion uh, because I'm a little slow on the uptake here and you're much better at this than I am. But what, <laughs> what I'm hoping to do by this interview right now is to stimulate the thinking among the BTS Army to look for other symbols that point back to Dr. Jung's work because this video and, and this... Uh, um, the, this set of, um, or this song that this applies to, uh, was not in the, uh, Map of the Soul Persona album, correct? No, this song is a instrumental version of, um, 
let me do you know this song tear it, can be it, both i think it's tear like tears from your eyes for for sadness right but i think that they use both both meaning the ah. both sense, senses on the song okay because well, if you look for the if you look for the the album covers on the love yourself her uh we have a flower mm -hmm. uh, and if you look to the love yourself tear or tear mm -hmm. the flower is tearing up uh ah breaking. Right. okay well I'll, I'll definitely put a link below this video uh, for the video that we're talking about now there was another video that i wanted to mention too because this video now that we're doing is about the references to the red book and so i wanted to get put that one up and this is from the song epiphany and uh can you see that now yes okay and so this this song begins with the um with the music video being almost black and white entirely and then very very gradually the book starts to become red uh yes. and and get and starts to be emphasized so it's emphasized here lying on the on the center of the um of the sofa yes. and so again that's a reference to the red book now the reason I wanted to mention this in part is because of the idea of synchronicity and the fact that this morning when you mentioned this, you brought together the Red Book, which I'm going to just pull out. This is the, the reader's edition of the Red Book here. All right, so this is the reader's edition of the Red Book by C.G. Young. And uh, that the Red Book was actually written between 1912, late 1912 and 1928. And so you, one of the threads that you brought together by pointing this out to me is this thread that began more than a hundred years ago, more than a century ago. And so then we have, uh, again, BTS uh, putting these references to a red book into their uh, music videos. That's very, very interesting that they're doing that. And so they, so the point that you were making to me this morning was that this was, um, this was in what BTS was doing long before they did Map of the Soul. So it's not only Map of the Soul that is pointing back to Jung's work, but no. some, some of their earlier work too, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. And this so is the previous, this is the previous era, Love Yourself. Right. Started in two, 2017. Yeah, okay. And so, last year. Okay, so that's Love Yourself. And um, so in this image, going back to the first image we looked at, here we have an anima figure, which is um, sort of the perfect woman for a young man, right? Except she's much more mature than, than he is. He's not put together at all. He's got a loose-fitting sweatshirt. He doesn't doesn't have his act together really <laughs> where she's wearing a beautiful outfit and she's carrying books which is part of the idea of, of civilization right and also now she's got this red book so that's that's really fascinating so then I wanted to point out to you which I, I did a little bit earlier but I want to I wanted to for the sake of this audience of this video that when the book red book was published there were a series of videos made the the point is that becca tarnas who is not a union per se but who 
has done a lot of work with Jungian psychology, she made this connection between the Red Book of Carl Jung and the Red Book that J.R.R. Tolkien made and had. Then I shared with you, let's see where I have it now, I shared with you this one page from this book, Jung's Red Book for Our Time, Searching for Soul Under Postmodern Conditions. And this is a fairly recent book. It was published two years ago. And so at about the same time that the music video was done, and what is recommended in this book, which as you see, is also written by Murray Stein, or it's edited by Murray Stein and Thomas Arst. And in Thomas Arst's essay, he points out that Jung recommended that for the purpose of individuation, uh, one should keep a red book. And I think by that he meant that your creative activities you should keep in some sort of form that you can, like a scrapbook that you can hold together. Now for me, my creative activity is doing these videos, but for someone else it might be painting pictures or it might be writing or whatever. So that's what a red book would point to. And so what, what Dr. Arst said is, Jung recommended creating a personal red book. And here he's quoting Jung. I, and this is from a letter that Jung had written to a woman that was one of his patients. He says, I should advise you to put it all down as beautifully as you can in some beautifully bound book. It will seem as if you were making the visions banal, but then you need to do that. Then you are freed from the power of them. If you do that with these eyes, for instance, they will cease to draw you. You should never try to make the visions come again. Think of it in your imagination and try to paint it. Uh, then, when these things are in some precious book, you can go back to the book and turn over the pages, and uh, for you it will be your church, your cathedral, the silent places of your spirit where you will find renewal. If anyone tells you that this is morbid or neurotic and you listen to them, then you will lose your soul, for in that book is your soul. And then he goes on, your cathedral, uh, one's own church, is an ecclesia spiritualis. This is the pressing issue today, according to Jung. We are in a period of turbulent transitions in an interim of history. However, just how postmodern radical plurality and incarnatio continua are entangled with each other remains a mystery. Okay, and so this is a mystery that you and I have now, because we, because you and I know each other, and the synchronicity of that, we've now pulled together this synchronicity of the Red Book of Carl Jung, of two different music videos by BTS, ourselves, and also the connection to J.R.R. Tolkien. And so it's a mystery how all that gets pulled together in one place, and you and I live on different continents yes. and, and almost would have no way of knowing that one another existed, but for this connection. So, so he says, even if it took centuries, as Jung suspected, before the, the new God image would constitute itself, the new collective myth already is delineated and the individual consequently called upon to actively contribute to the foundation of a new religion in the form of an invisible church, as this is described in a dream and during an ensuing talk with Max Zeller with Jung himself. Quote, okay, so this is Zeller's dream. A temple of vast dimensions was in the process of being built. As far as I could see ahead, behind, right and left, there were incredible numbers of people building on gigantic pillars. I too was building on a pillar. 
the whole building process was in its very first beginnings, but the foundation was already there. The rest of the building was starting to go up, and I and many others were working on it, unquote. Then he says, Jung said, yes, you know, that is the temple we all build on. We don't know the people because, believe me, they build in India and China and in Russia and all over the world. That is the new religion. You know how long it will take until it is built? I said, how should I know? Do you know? He said, I know. I asked how long it will take. He said, about 600 years. Where do you know this from? I asked. He said, from dreams, from other people's dreams and from my own. This new religion will come together as far as we can see. All right, so I'm not going to read any more of it, but I was reading two pages from the first essay by Thomas Arst in Jung's Red Book for Our Time, Searching for Soul Under Postmodern Conditions. And if you're listening to this video and you would like to hear the entire uh, essay read to you, you can go to the home page of the YouTube channel and uh, there is a special playlist called Jung's Red Book for Our Time. And the first two videos in that are the first and second parts of Thomas Arts' uh, essay. So, so what do you think about all that, Mertus? I mean, I'm, I'm pulling that all together and... Yes, it's, it's, it's new, but not surprising. Uh, uh, I mean, we're how familiar. It... So it's new, but it's also somehow familiar. And what I'm, yes. what I'm seeing is that what BTS is doing by their music is pulling, uh, they're pulling all these uh, strings together from around the world so that people can see each other and understand one another. And I think that that's just a remarkable feat that they, they're accomplishing. I, I really was so excited when you sent me that uh, connection to the Red Book this morning. And so I would love for you or others to point out other connections between, especially between Dr. Jung's work and BTS's work, because it's obvious that it's present. And I don't know who in the, in the organization is the, the driving force behind that, but it's, it's quite an impressive thing that they're pulling together. And they're doing it yes. very quietly. I I'd think. like to know. That. Yeah. So we can figure it out. There's another, yes, there is another diary which I told you, which is the uh, Jin, Jin's father. Yes. His diary. Mm -hmm. He finds it in the notes. Right. I didn't find and, that. Uh, I didn't find that yet, but I'm. I am going to find it. So anyway. I, I've sent you. I've sent you a translation of the note. Right, I, uh, I have it here, but I the, haven't the, had it. Yeah, I haven't had time to look at that yet, but I certainly will do. You know, if you or others find more symbology that suggests links between what BTS has done, which is obvious in persona in Map of the Soul persona, but now it's also obvious in these other places. Uh, it's very, very interesting phenomenon that we're seeing. Very interesting. Yes. So if you or any other BTS army finds such symbology, I'd love to know about it. Uh, so Mirtis, thank you for for bringing that to my attention. That's uh, really terrific. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. okay so th thank you. So thank you for talking to me today. I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate the thank note you, that you... Oh. I really appreciate the note that you sent. Well, continue this discussion because you seem very connected to this in, in ways that I I haven't been. And so I need your help <laughs> to do it. Yeah. So anyway. You can count on me.
Right, and and the interesting thing is that, you know, at least I know I need your help, right? <laughs> and, and, and I'm that, happy that I can help yeah, somehow. Yeah, it's terrific. So thank you so much for writing to me this morning. I, I'm sorry I have to go now.